the move means that Turks will not be given visas to visit the U.S. unless they are planning to move there. The U.S. Embassy in Ankara tweeted a statement from the U.S. mission to Turkey saying that recent events have forced it to reassess the commitment of the government of Turkey to the security of U.S. mission facilities and personnel. Turkish authorities last week arrested a U.S. consulate employee of Turkish nationality, Medan Tapuz, for alleged links to the network of US-based cleric Fethullah Gülen. The Turkish government has pushed for the U.S. to extradite Mr. Gülen, saying he was responsible for last summer's failed coup, although he denied any involvement. Mr. Tapuz is accused of espionage and attempting to overthrow the Turkish government and constitution. His arrest was condemned by Washington as baseless and damaging to relations between the NATO allies, with the U.S. Embassy saying it was deeply disturbed by the arrest. The statement said the suspension of non-immigrant visa services was effective immediately to minimize visitor numbers to the U.S. Embassy and consulate for now. The move will affect business, tourist, medical treatment, student, exchange visitor, crew member, media and journalist, treaty trader, diplomatic and official visas. There was no immediate response from Ankara but the Turkish Foreign Ministry is understood to be drafting a statement. U.S. Pastor Andrew Brunson, who has lived in Turkey for more than 20 years, has been imprisoned for a year for alleged links to Mr. Gülen. Last month, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said the U.S. was putting pressure on Ankara to return a cleric Mr. Brunson, while refusing to hand over another cleric Mr. Gülen. Tensions between the two nations have also increased over U.S. military support for Kurdish YPG fighters in Syria, considered by Ankara to be an extension of the banned PKK, which has waged an insurgency for three decades in southeast Turkey. More than 50,000 people have been arrested and 110,000 have been fired from government jobs as part of a state of emergency declared after the failed coup.